Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. I wanted to talk about how I personally use Claude in my workflow for software development. A lot of people maybe use the Claude desktop app or maybe it's integrated into your IDE somehow. I believe also Cursor, uh, that IDE also has Claude integration in there too. But the one that I think is really interesting is that last week when Claude introduced Claude 4, they also, I believe, introduced an SDK for Claude code. And I have it right here, here are the docs. If you guys are interested, let me know down in the comments below and we'll do like some other deep dives or something like that and we can check out other features here and I'll make some other videos. And it is worth noting that they do point out that the SDK currently only supports command line usage with TypeScript and Python SDKs coming soon. But I wanna show you guys how I use this with GitHub Actions because I think this is one of the really cool features. Let's jump over here where it says GitHub Actions down below. They go through a lot of stuff talking about why to use it and how to implement it and all this, you know, da 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 kind of stuff, right? But the things that I think are really great and that I personally use on a daily basis and I wanna make this as relevant and applicable as possible are the turning issues into actual PRs. So check this out. We're gonna show an example here. What you can do is you can create an issue and then basically tag Claude as if it's another person. Claude will look at your code, it will look at what you're asking it to do, and it will actually submit a PR for you that you can either go and check out and maybe make some adjustments, or you can interact with it even further and ask it to you know, modify things and such. You'll wanna check out this document because they do go through a lot of really important stuff. For example, they have, well, they have you know how to use it or why you would wanna use it. They talk about what it can do. Uh, they talk about, you know, putting it into a GitHub action, which is pretty cool. So I have this Claude test repo here, which is currently public. And I'm just now realizing that I should make it private because I think anyone could then go and put an issue in, which could rack up my bill for the Claude API. So I'm going to go and make that private after recording this. But what you can do here is I basically have a, uh, a starter Next.js app that I created. The only thing that I did was that I basically went in here and made it so that it would break. It's not buildable. So I went in here with hero and this uh, image is not being used and the props are not being used. And so it should break. And we can see that it'll break if we go here to actions, we go to build, add build. Okay, so I created a workflow, a GitHub actions workflow. And this comes in here and basically just tells me exactly what I just told you guys, which is that these two things are not being used. They're defined and not used. So this is gonna break, right? Let's go over to Claude and say, let's create a new issue. And we'll just say fix build. Looks like this build failed. Needs to be fixed. And then let's go ahead and tag Claude and say uh, build is failing, please fix. Let's go ahead and give that a comment. Um, nothing is happening right now. It will happen, it's getting triggered. And basically then this is gonna go and actually submit a PR that will have hopefully everything fixed. You can see now Claude is starting up. It is gonna take some time. I don't know how much time exactly, but I think it's like over a minute for this to happen. Of course, in this example where it's I created the failure, it's not really going to be that ideal to use Claude since we obviously know what the problem is. However, in a case where you don't know what the problem is, or there's a lot of problems maybe, uh, then it could be, maybe make more sense to use Claude. Or also, in the case where maybe someone else on your team um, actually was the one to have written the code, and maybe they're busy, they don't have time for whatever reason to go and fix their mistake or if they're out of the office or something like that, uh, it may make sense to actually let Claude do the work. Or actually, here's another example. I submit this PR, I, you know, it passes some tests or whatever. I merge it in. Don't, I don't know, maybe the build didn't work or I didn't pay attention to it or something like that. Or, or even, or even it's a, an issue on the PR or something, but then I go start working on something else this would be a great way to allow Claude to actually fix the problem without me having to stop what I'm doing, have a little context switch and come over. So a lot of possibilities and use cases, situational stuff that you might want to use this for. This is gonna take a while and I will probably cut this and then come back. Um, actually, let's do that. I'll cut this and come back, but I just wanted to show how I'm using Claude along with GitHub Actions and how easy 
it is to set up and also how much it can help increase your productivity if you decide to go and actually do do use it. Uh, all right, so we're back. Claude did actually finish, didn't take as long as I thought it would, which is pretty awesome, but let's just take a look and see what we've got. It wrote up a few things here, so I've successfully identified and fixed the build issue, um, and we'll go investigate. So what I fixed, issue missing semicolon here in line four, that actually was not the problem that I was referring to. However, I'm glad that it did catch it. Let's go ahead and check out the actual branch that it created uh, and see what it, actually, let's just go and create a PR for this. We can go ahead and create a PR. Let's go and check this out. It looks like it actually did not fix the problem, which is quite interesting. Okay, so to follow up, uh, I made this comment here. I said, Claude, the semicolon was not the only problem. Please fix it. Now, it did go ahead and actually notice that the props were not being used. And it did go ahead and add the props in. However, unfortunately, there were actually two problems. The other one being that the image component was not being used. All right, so this is gonna go again. What I noticed here is that, yeah, like there's obviously a lot of potential here. However, according to this documentation, and granted, like I've just kind of been scratching the surface with this. I don't actually know what else can be done here. What I would really like is if there was a way to actually have Claude go and validate what it did. So in this case, I would like it to go and submit this fix, which is a good fix to make, but I also wanted to actually go and build my project as well so that it can see if it then actually fixed it. And if it didn't, go back and look at that and fix it accordingly, right? Or, and I don't think this one is doable, but if we go here to the build and go to add build uh, here, I don't know if there's a way to actually create an issue just off of this failed build. Um, doesn't look like it has, it doesn't look like GitHub has the potential to do that. If that were the case, I feel like maybe that would solve the problem where I could just create an issue based on this failed build and hopefully Claude would be able to look at that and see. So, okay, it looks like you can actually do this. I maybe just didn't have it configured properly. So this would require that you change up your pipelines to then actually have this, uh, this if statement here. I don't, this looks like it's an action though. So I don't know if this is something that you can do natively just yourself configuring a pipeline or if you have to use a, a custom built action to be able to do this, uh, such as this action here. Um, in any case though, it looks like it's possible. I just hadn't had it configured because that I didn't know about it, but also that wasn't really what the video was about. In any case though, let's go back here and check in on how Claude is doing. And I'll come back in a little bit when this finishes and hopefully it's able to recognize that the image component needs to be removed and then we should be good. Claude apparently ran into an error. Um, I, I honestly didn't expect that. I, I just started using, uh, looking into using Claude in this way uh, for to helping me with, you know, with repository fixes and stuff like that. Didn't exactly know how it would work. I used it like in a very basic sense before and it looked promising. It does say here, I believe, um, Claude GitHub Actions is currently in beta. It also says for the SDK that I think the SDK might be in, well, I thought it said the SDK was in beta, but the, the GitHub Actions definitely say that it's in beta um, and it's built on top of the SDK. So I'll still publish the video because I think it's interesting to look at this and see what happened. Bit of a bummer that it wasn't actually able to get us all the way there. I think maybe with a little bit more customization, it could because ultimately, you know, in these LLMs, a lot of what you get is is kind of what you put in is basically what you get out. Um, so I think maybe there's still room to improve this and kind of give it a little bit more instruction or maybe make it a little bit better. It, that example that I was showing where you can create a build off of, or sorry, you can create the issue and then tag Claude based on a failed build. So hopefully it would have more context because in this case, I think it's basically just looking at my main branch, but not maybe realizing what happened, what went, what went wrong in that build where it failed that I was asking it to fix. Bit of a bummer, but I think definitely very promising and something to maybe play around with in the future and see where you can get to. So if you're interested in a more complete Claude tutorial, Claude Code SDK, how to use it for coding, how to use it for GitHub specifically, because I think that might be a really amazing place that it can shine right now as opposed to expecting it to build your entire app for you and having expecting everything to be perfect. 
uh, let me know down in the comments below and I am happy to maybe make something. It might have to be a paid course, but happy to kind of look into it, maybe make some more tutorials as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.